The sleepy, idyllic town of Mistress Glen is home to a predator. A beast walks the outskirts, silent yet deadly. Who will fall prey to its nightmarish stench? This is Mysteries of the Verdant Valley. Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Mysteries of the Verdant Valley. I'm Herb. And I'm Bud. And well, folks, this is a new one. Ugh. We are coming to you from, you guessed it, jail. Doing time in the big house. That's right. We're in the pokey, the slammer, the clank, the stockade. We got caught red-handed trying to sneak out of Mayor Dingle Hopper's castle, and now we're cooling our heels in the Crowbar Hotel. Fortunately, though, they didn't take our my quarter away. I know, Herb. That was quick thinking for you to hide it in your mushroom patch. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Getting thrown in jail isn't the worst part, though. I mean, we're wasting precious time in here while Theo is out there all alone. That's right. And that two-time and snake in the grass, Daryl, done uh, right off with our best chance of finding him, Gertie's crystal ball. I can't believe he did that. I was just starting to like him. I know, man. I, I feel real sorry about that, Herb. I cannot help but feel responsible. I guess you can't really never trust a rogue, but mm. I, I just didn't think Daryl would do his dirty like that, letting us take the fall while he skittered off with our loot. It's not your fault, bud. I mean, it is what it is, but what are we going to do? How are we going to find Theo without Gertie's ball? I do not know, Herb, but... Look, don't you worry. We're going to think of something. We've been in tighter spots than this. Am I right? Uh, yeah, I, pro I mean, physically, uh, metaphorically, I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So just keep your chin up, and we're going to find him. But we got to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Got to yeah. put our heads together, and we got to... Herb, hang on, what What are you doing? Sorry, sorry, bud. I'm just giving you a little bit of an orange spritz. Orange spritz? Herb, we got to focus, man. We uh, Did you hear me? We got to get out of here. We ain't got time to play with perfume and braid each other's hair and like that. Look, first of all, neither of us have any hair. And second of all, you're still covered in Dinglehopper dookies. Oh, my gods. I am. Yeah. Wow. You know how when you smell something that smells bad for a really long time and yeah. you finally just kind of get used to it, you don't smell it no more? I just stopped uh, smelling it. Not me. I'm still okay. smelling you, bud. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Um, this orange spritz is actually pretty nice, though. So, uh, okay, l l let's get back to it. W yeah, what do we know? Well, one thing is for sure. We could not wait on the sheriff to let us out. You're no. pretty small. I don't have any butter, but we could cover you in some tomato juice, make you all slippery, then I could smoosh you between the bars. Ooh. You could sneak off, grab your lock picks, and then let me out. Bada bing, okay. bada boom. Okay, all right. Well, yes, I am pretty small. That is true. But, you know, my head is is kind of, pe people say it's kind of big. Mm. I'm not sure it's going to fit through them bars. Well, let's try. I, no, <laughs> well, I'm saying it. I don't know, Herb. Look, I don't... pick a bunch of tomatoes from my shell garden, please. Okay. Uh, well, the, uh, the cherry tomatoes are these big ones. The big ones. Okay, here, here you go. Okay, just put them on the floor. Put them on the floor. There, there, okay, there now they stop. are. Stop! Oh, we're really doing this. We're uh -huh. doing it! Come here! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on now. Let's just get this all over. Come here, behind Ooh. the ears. Oh, no, no. oh, oh, oh her, man, I don't think it's as natural. It's all natural, bud. No, no, man, this feels more like sticky than slippery, you know what oh, I'm saying? It's great for your skin, though. Oh, oh, her! Ow, oh, my eyes hurt. That stings, man. Watch where you're sticking that shit. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's give it a whirl. You ready? No. Is anybody coming? I don't know. I can't see nothing. Here we go. Wait, wait. Ow, ow, ooh, ow, mm. ow. Is it ow. working? Hurt. No, no, it's not working, man. Stop. Ow. <laughs> Gosh. You really do have a big head. I, I, I done told you, man. I done uh, told you. Well, let's see. I do have plenty of carrots on my shell. Maybe we could just chew a set of keys. Ooh, or a lockpick. Are carrots hard enough to pick a lock, though? I mean, they're pretty crunchy. Well, let's try it. Wow. 
her. These carrots are good. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, wait, are you eating them? We're supposed to be making keys. I ain't eating says lunch, man. I'm starving. Ugh, oh, me neither. <gasps> Ooh, you got any of that dip? You got some of that, um, what do you call it, that hummus, don't you? Not that kind of hummus. Okay. Oh, spit that out. Oh, ho, ho. well, if it ain't Mr. Blinn's finest, Officer Thorne and Deputy Dick Cheese. I assume you're here to let us go. Sheriff Thorne, and you ain't going nowhere. You can't keep us in here, man. We ain't done nothing. Yeah. You're infringing on our rights as sovereign citizens of Saigia to investigate and cultivate. We're being held without charge, which is illegal. Plus, we ain't done nothing. Oh, you done plenty. We already done told you, man. We got lost. We ended up in them tunnels. We didn't know we was trespassing, all right? Are you seriously gonna charge us for an innocent mistake? Yeah. Those tunnels are not well marked at all. Anybody could wander in there. Shut it. Now, where were you between the hours of 5 p.m. and midnight Thursday night? What, what the... What did that guy do with anything? Where were you, Turtle? You first. My name is Herb. Turtle, where was you? I was with Bud. Where? Uh, well, from around 5 until 10... We were at Bud Shop, working on our phone cast, Mysteries of the Verdant Valley. Don't forget to like and follow. <sighs> and after ten? Mm, after ten. Let's see. Oh, we were out at the Cinderwood doing an interview with Grandar. Parsniff. For how long? Mm, till about midnight. You can ask him yourself. Oh, we will. You can count on that, lovey. Imp, what about you? Yeah. You talking to me? You see any other shorties about? Well? Well, what Herb said. And did you see anyone else between the hours of five and midnight? Well, I mean, just Pickle, but... Who's Pickle? Uh, well, Pickle, you know, my shop assistant, but, but they ain't... Deputy, did you know this Pickle person? There's only one dumbass in doubt with a name as stupid as Pickle. Hey, f*** you, dick cheese. They're talking about Pickle Grimsby, sir. Pick them up for questioning. The f*** you say? Pickle didn't do nothing. And positive, too. Now, you lot moved to Mistress Glynn not so long ago, ain't that right? Yeah, well, I, I guess. I mean, not too, too long ago. So, one could say you're strangers to this community, relatively speaking, that is. Uh, I, I wouldn't say strangers. You've embedded yourselves rather quickly. Set up shop, even. Well, we love it here. Mistress Glenn is our home. Oh, I'm sure you do. What's not to love? A quiet little place. As pretty as a picture where nothing bad ever happens. No violence, no thieving, no crime to speak of. Not until you lock dog and our doorstep, that is. But, what, what do you mean? What are you saying, man? Shut it! Last night, a child ghost missing. Tonight... A magical item of great value was stolen from Mayor Dinglehopper's home. Hang on a minute. What are you insinuating, sir? I ain't insinuating nothing. I'm saying you lot are under arrest for the kidnapping of Theodore Diggle. What? Breaking and entering a Mayor Dinglehopper's home and theft of personal property amounting to grand larceny. Have you lost your god's damn mind? That's fucking crazy, man. We didn't kidnap Theo. We're trying to find him. You can't do this, man. Oh, you'll find I can. You ain't got no alibi for your whereabouts last night. We told you. We were with Pickle and Grandar. Oh, right, right. You're accomplices. And there's gonna be joining you in this cell shortly. How stupid are you, man? You got us locked up in here while a scared little boy is out there and you ain't doing sh to find him. What you call me? Stupid. Don't you call me stupid. Oh, yeah. You're so stupid, they had to burn the school down to get you out of third grade. You best watch your mouth. You're so stupid, you locked yourself in the bathroom and sh your pants. <laughs> yeah, you are so stupid. If you were a potato... 
You'd be a stupid potato. Come on, Herb. Yeah. Amp, you're so ugly. When you were born, the doctor slapped your mama. Oh, oh, see how it is. You need a lesson in manners. Deputy, teach him how to respect his betters. Betters? Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa. hang on now. Ah! 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 Stop it! Nobody hurts my buddies! Buddies, you know. Gotta calm down. But they can't do this. It's not right. I know, I know, but you're only making it worse, man. I promise. Just you gotta cool out. That's right. Now we can add assaulting officer of the law to your charges. This is f up, man. Deputy, get up you punts and go pick up their accomplices. Uh, yes, sir. And you lot. I suggest you make yourselves nice and comfortable. You're gonna be here a long time. Howdy, partner. You ever get that thirsty feeling after a combat encounter? I do. I get so thirsty I could sip on a sweaty rock. Lucky for you, I got something better. When I'm down and I'm out rolling, that saves no doubt. I'm reaching for a natural one. When the trolls mess you up like a whip or stabbing pup, I'm reaching for a natural one. That's right, where the weather's hot and I'm at that store, I reach for an ice cold, refreshing glass of Dr. Healgood's Natural One. All natural healing tonic. And when the weather's cold and your blood freezes before it hits the dirt, well, that's when Dr. Healgood's tastes so very hot. Good friends, all close to death. And a roaring owl bear all hopped up on that spice. That's the perfect time for hot Dr. Healgood's. Delicious and so easy to prepare. When you're down for the count, roll a natural one with Dr. Healgood's. Reach for a natural one. Are they gone? I think so. Oh. Oh, well, that didn't go great. Not really. Um, are you okay, bud? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. That deputy hits like a flump. Oh no, it looked like a heart. No, 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 it didn't. It didn't hurt none. I heard you say "ow." No, no, you didn't. I definitely did. No, 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 I said, wow, because I was so amazed at how much it didn't hurt. Um, actually, what you said was, and I quote, Ow, stop! Ow, ow, ow! Okay. Herb, help me, no. please! Okay, <laughs> no, no, I did not say that. We can play back the tape if you want. Okay, fine, fine, it hurt. Are you happy? I mean, no, but I thought so. What are we going to do now, man? Mm. We're stuck in here. Deputy Dicksack is going around up Pickle and Grondar, and mm. Theo is out there somewhere. Yeah. Man, this really went tits up. Maybe we're just not cut out to be adventurers no more. I don't know. Oh, bud, I don't think that's true. I mean, maybe we're not cut out for adventuring anymore. Maybe we are. But regardless, we cannot let them get to Pickle and Grondar and throw their asses in here with us. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. No time for moping. Let's get the hell's out of here. That's right. We could try to make the carrot lockpicks again if you want. Well, you know what? They were tasty, but I hate to break it to you. It probably wasn't going to work. Are you sure? I mean, the carrots were really crisp. They were super crisp, but yeah. this is an iron gate. Might be a little bit crispier. Mm. Uh, um, look, there's a way out of here. Yeah. We just got to put our heads together, right? Yeah, I mean, okay, how about this? What if you act like they hit your head a little bit too hard and you need mm -hmm. a doctor? Then, when they come in here, we just ambush them. Oh, okay, the old honey badger trap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. thing is, I think they're pretty much on high alert after you kick old Deputy Dicksack in the nuggets so hard he'll be tasting dick for a week. Yeah, mm, maybe. Yeah, okay. Well, keep thinking. Let's see. Okay, okay, I'm thinking, I'm hmm. thinking. Hmm, 
Hmm, well, what, what about... No, no, that wouldn't work. No, 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 tell me, tell me. There are no bad ideas. Well, what about the floor? What about the floor? It is made of dirt. <gasps> oh, we can dig. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Problem is, we ain't got the shovels, and that would no, take no, forever, no, no, no. so... We I mean... don't need no shovels. What do you mean? All we need is my bare claws. Turtle oh. folk are excellent diggers. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's still going to take forever, though, so... No, 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 no. I can dig freakishly fast. I mean, you've seen my garden, right? <laughs> Damn, Herb, you weren't kidding. At this rate, I'll be out of here in no time. I told you. Herb, Herb, chill, chill. I think somebody's oh. coming. Quick, okay, help me move the bench over the hall. Move it. Oh, get off of me. We caught one of your accomplices. <laughs> Pickle. Back away from the door. <laughs> I said get back or the halfling gets a walloping. Okay, you. Get in there. Hey. Ow. Hey. You didn't have to throw Pickle on the ground. <laughs> Pickle. His thing was Pickle. <laughs> it was funny, though. <laughs> Okay, go, okay. Hey now, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that pile of dirt on the ground? That's the dirt from my shell garden. I'm sorry, your what? My vegetable garden. It's molting. Yeah, it's just molting. It's natural. <laughs> it's natural. <laughs> molting, eh? You hear that, Quill? This turtle comes with <laughs> their own veggies. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Everything you need for a turtle stew all in one sweet-smelling package. Mm. Say what? Oh, yeah. Quill here is a right good cook. <laughs> Indeed. Gonna have us a right good feed. East, we will. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. That, that's f***ed up, man. Come on, uh, pipe down before we have to teach you another lesson. Yeah, pipe down. You're talking about eating a person here. Toodaloo, losers. Taste <laughs> you later. <laughs> uh, I had no idea that jail at Mistress Glenn was going to be this dark. So dark. Pickle, oh my god, are you all right? Here, let me help you up. Oh, thanks, Herb. Oh my god, we're so sorry we got you caught up in all of this. It's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. It's that damn drow elf. I never should have trusted him. But if Daryl hadn't run off without us, we wouldn't have been in this mess in the first place. But don't worry, Pickle, we have a plan. You guys. We're digging a tunnel. That's right, we're going to get out of here. We gotta get to Grondor before they do. But Pickle, grab that bench over there and move it over here. Guys, what? We don't have much time. Uh, yeah, we know. Look to see if the guards are coming back. Pickle. What are you up to? Eh, uh, looks like the coast is clear. I snuck this past the guards. A handkerchief? Nope. Oh, a portable hull. We're here to rescue you. Wait, who's we? Oh, uh, Daryl. You two timing son of an old lawn. But he's here to help. He can help himself to my foot up his ass. You left mm. us twisted in the wind to get snatched up by Johnny Law, you double-crossing snake. But, but just... Calm your ass down. Don't you tell me to calm down. I'ma calm the hells up, motherfucker. I'm gonna stick my bud, foot so far bud, bud, ass bud, zip it. Pickle? Darrell? Thanks for coming mm -hmm. to the rescue. But wouldn't yeah. it work a little bit better if you weren't in the jail with us? I mean, well, yes. And I've got that covered, so oh. keep an eye out while I work on this lock. Okay. Somebody better start doing some splaining right now. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I heard the sheriff in the tunnel, I cast invisibility on myself, okay? If I could have cast it on you two, I would have. Well, it's that thought that counts. Look, I had the crystal ball. If I had been caught as well, we would have all been in jail, and the ball would have been lost. Oh, that was quick thinking, Darrell. Wasn't Thank it, bud? Yes. Uh, I suppose. So. Yes, yes, it was. It was. I followed you and the sheriff back to the jail and staked it out, hoping I might find a way to free you. But the place was crawling with guards. They've obviously ramped up security, and even still being invisible, it was way too risky. Then, I saw the deputy with a group of guards leave the jail. I overheard him giving orders to arrest Pickle here at your shop. It was then that I knew what to do. Darryl got to the shop 
right before the deputy did. He explained the whole plan. He was going to get in one of our portable holes. Yep. Yep. I replaced my handkerchief with it and then let myself get caught. Wow, smart. Uh, okay, I, I, I gotta hand it to y'all. That is pretty damn genius. Except this place is crawling with guards. How are we getting out? I mean, we can't just walk out. Yeah, you know me better than that, right, bud? I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Well, butter my buds and call me a biscuit. You look just like Sheriff Thorne, Darrell. And that's exactly the point. Now, everybody inside the portable hole, and I'll get us out of here looking just like your dear Sheriff. Hang on, hang on, slow your roll, Sheriff Darrell. You can't just look like Thorne if we're going to get out of here. you got to be able to sound like him, too. So uh, let's hear it. What you got? Okay. Let me see. <clears throat> Oi, you lot. Oh, wow. That, that That's pretty good. Obviously. Uh, look, someone's coming. Quick, all of you in the hole. It smells like bees in here. Mind your hands and feet. Look out. Quick. Wait, 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 wait. Darrell, take yeah. the mic order. We've got to get this for the show. Okay. Oh, good thinking, Herb. Now, shh. Who is ready for some turtle pie? I am. Oh, you lot. Oh, oh uh, the Sheriff, sir, I, I, I didn't see you come back here. Shut it. Would either of you like to explain to me where in the Nine Hells all prisoners are? Well, they're, they're, they're right in the cell, sir, right? Yeah, look. Do they look like they're in the cell? Well, uh, they were there just a few minutes ago, sir. We promise. Shut it. They're not there now, are they? No. It looks like they've dug themselves a nice little tunnel and gone about them every way on your what? Oh, we're sorry. We're sorry, sir. So sorry, sir. Shut it. Oh, okay. I oh, should let me dog go eat your twigs and berries for supper. Get a party together and find them before I unleash the oh, hounds. Y- yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Not my berries. I love my berries. Yeah, absolutely, oh. sir. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Sheriff Thorne, how unexpected. Hmm? Uh, What may I do for you? Oh, uh, right. My disguise. Sorry. One second here. Hello. Oh, dear gods. Who on Sygea are you? Apologies, madam. My name is Daril. I am an associate of Bud and Herb. (gasps) Oh, have you seen them? Did they send you? I was expecting them some time ago. Yes, actually, I have... Some important news. May I come in? Oh, yes. Yes, right this way. Are Bud and Herb coming? They're right here, actually. Uh, one second. And, uh, ah, here. <gasps> oh, wow, we made it. Oh, stay it, Daryl. Just take your sweet-ass time, why don't you? Look, I moved as quickly as I could, okay? Mistress Glynn is on high alert. Guards everywhere. Herb, Bud, I have been waiting for you for hours. Where have you been? Sorry, Gertie, things got a little complicated. Oh, you could say that again. But we're here, and we have your crystal ball. Thank the gods. Where is it? It's in the hole. Hold on. Hey, Pickle, could you could you grab it for us? Okay. Oh, uh, Gertie, by the way, this is Pickle. They work at Bud's shop. Pickle, this is Gertie. Hi. She's a fortune teller. I prefer spiritual medium, dear. It's uh. nice to meet you, Pickle. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. Here's... Uh, here's... Uh, here, wow, this is heavy. Here's your crystal ball, ma'am. Joyous day, Kathy. I thought you were lost to me forevermore. Hang on, your uh, crystal ball has a name? They name themselves. Wait, it's alive? Can it talk? In a manner of speaking... Look, uh, okay, I, I hate to break up your reunion, but can we get this show on yeah, the road? Yeah, can you tell us where Theo is? Yes, yes, you're right. Let's get down to business. But first, we must prepare the scrying chamber. Mr. Darrell, please draw the curtains. Pickle, Bud, mm-hmm. can you help move this table and these chairs together? Okay. Herb, dim the oil lamps, would you? How's that? Perhaps a skosh brighter. Okay. Ooh, back down a touch. Uh-huh. Perfect. Right there. Now, light these candles here. Okay. 
And do you see that incense there? Hand that to me, please. Yes. Oh, and Bud, over there. Fetch yeah. Theo's drawing of Todd the Cinderwood Walker and Herb All the right. Brazier, please. Got it. Oh, my God. Can we make you a sandwich while we're at it? Ooh, what are all these chairs for? Oh, for all of you, of course. If I had more time, perhaps I could scry on Theo on my own. But under the circumstances, I will need all of your help. Help how? All of you sit down. I will explain. Okay. Okay. When it's time, I'm going to ask you to focus all of your attention, all of your concentration on Theo. And that will help enhance the clairvoyance, or...? And the clairaudience. And yes, or at least that's my hope. Your energies can help sharpen its focus, as it were. Yeah, but none of us really knows Theo. I mean, except for you and Herb, I guess. True, true, but you are here because you care about him. All of you have gone to great lengths to help find him. This energy ripples out into the cosmos, and the cosmos listens. It watches. It knows. Let us pray that is enough, for we only have one chance at this. One chance? Yes, Theo's drawing is a crucial component for this ritual, and for it to work, it must be sacrificed in the process. And we only have the one. Oh my god. Can we tear it in half or something? Yeah. I'm afraid that's not how it works. Now, before we get started, I just need to warm up. Red leather, yellow leather. What the? Okay, okay. And now we begin. I will ask you all to join hands, close your eyes, turn your mind's eye inward, and focus on Theo. Picture him sitting in his favorite tree, drawing, listening to the microwave with his brother Dougie, in the warm embrace of his mother Rosie. Pickle, please place Theo's drawing in the brazier. Like that? Perfect, dear. Now, you must all be completely silent while I call upon the weave. Shh. All right, be quiet. I am being quiet. You're being loud. <clears throat> hey, both of you, pipe down. Okay. Herb, you know Theo best. When I complete the invocation, alight the drawing with this candle. Okay. Deep breath, everyone. Eldriar Shantu Velos Mir, Tal Karasi Ilnen Val No Sir, Aranas Dor Mishkaval, Theosha Karin Torasal, Thrandor Akshir Dosikal Morn, Kanto Shiel, Fena Sur. Oh. Yeah, that was wild. Darkness. Not but darkness all around. Can you see anything at all? Kathy ain't showing me sh- Wait. A faint phosphorescent glow of lichen? What is that? What's what? Theo. I think I see him, but just barely. It's so dark. He's alive. Theo's alive? He's not moving. Or perhaps cannot move? He is imprisoned. Imprisoned? Oh, no. Do you see Todd? Do you see the Cinderwood Walker? I do not see the beast, no. Is there any clues, uh, something to identify the place with? Roots, hanging down from the ceiling, and they sway as if they're own accord. Hmm. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Is there anything else? Anything at all. Shh! What the hell? Herb, I think the microwave just turned on. All by itself. There's Theo. It's Todd. I'm scared. There are people here. Mama? Bud, it's just like what happened to Dougie. Gertie, I think your vision connected to the microwave. The air soldiers have escaped. What the f? They know too much. They of the time line. It's too soon. Promise that he's not ready. Don't have to just disappear. 
radio. What happened? What happened? Gertie, are you all right? The connection is broken. The beast, it is there. Did it see you? I don't know. Are you all right, Gertie? You look like that really took it out of you. Here, have some water, Gertie. Thank you, dear pickle. Was, was that? The mayor. And Sheriff Thord. They're with Theo? But the walker was there, too. What is going on here, bud? Dinglehopper said... You had promise. Promise for what? I don't know. And it don't sound like we want to find out. We gotta find Theo now. Herb, get your meat tenderizer. It's time we come out of retirement. Let's go. The Adventures of Bud and Herb is brought to you by The Pocket Dimension. Created and written by Anna Fitzgerald and Evan Bivens. Episode 5, The Vision, stars Evan Bivens as Kriglin Exerflump, Bud, Bud Licker, Pickle Grimsby, and Sheriff Thorpe. Anna Fitzgerald as Herb, Deputy Richard Dickinson, and Theo Diggle. Seth McKay as Daryl Zorin, and Spiff the Guard. Matthew Bivens as Quill the Guard, and Allison Kendrick as Gertie McGillicuddy. Directed by Sarah Mobley. Produced and edited by Anna Fitzgerald, Evan Bivens, Matthew Bivens, and Allison Kendrick. Sound design by Evan Bivens. Original character art and poster by Bridget Connell. And special thanks to Alejandro Tay and Greg Hess. Please consider supporting our show by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash enter the pocket dimension. Or find us on YouTube and all other socials at enter the pocket dimension.